Hello everyone, my name is Leonie and welcome to another video. Today I decided to do a bookshelf tour which has been requested by some of you guys so I thought I would do that. So for that we're gonna have to zoom you out a little bit. You're gonna see parts of my room that you've never seen before. Secrets will be revealed. Mostly just a big mess. Okay, I guess it's, you don't really see the mess. But here you can see in my room at an angle that you usually don't see. That over there is my bookshelf. These are all the books I own. It's not really that much because I'm a slow reader, I am poor, and I really like the library. And over there we have another shelf where I put all my graphic novels and my manga. So let's, let's start over there. Shall we? Okay. So this is the manga and graphic novel shelf. How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you by oatmeal. Avatar The Search part 1, 2 and 3. Alice in Murderland by Kaori Yuki volume 1. Alice in the Country of Heart by Quinn Rose volume 1, 2 and 3. Both volumes of The Mad Hatter's Late Night Tea Party also by Quinn Rose. Alice in the Country of Hearts My Fanatic Rabbit volume 1 and 2 also by Quinn Rose. Both volumes of Tokyo Mew Mew a la mode by Mia Ikumi. Volumes 1 to 4 of Sakura Hime by Arina Tanimura. Volumes 2 to 6 of Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle by Clamp. The collection of the first three volumes of Magic Knight Ray Earth also by Clamp. Fairy Tale volumes 29, 30, 31 and 36 by Hiro Mashima. And these are in French, in fact. These also have cool sketches of the manga under the dust jacket like a little secret. And lastly I have Pokemon Black and White Volume 1 to 5 by Hidenori Kusaka. And that was my manga shelf. Here we have my main bookshelf. I also have a lot of random other things on my shelf that are not books. I don't know if anyone's interested in a video where I talk about all the things on my bookshelves and all the things that I hang next to my bookshelf. I don't know, let me know if you want to see that. But first Let's talk about the books. My tripod isn't very long so we're gonna have to do it at this angle. But these are all my middle height and high paperbacks. Legend by Mary Lou. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Ajay. A collection of chapter samplers from publisher Blossom Books. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. Pearson. The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, City of Bones and City of Ashes. Another collection of chapter samplers from Blossom Books and Best of YA. The Iron Face series by Julie Kagawa, The Iron King, The Iron Daughter and The Iron Queen. The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, Cinder, Scarlet and Cress. In Order to Live by Yami Park. The Divergent Trilogy by Veronica Roth, Divergent, Insurgent and Allegiant. And The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. And this shelf is all of my short paperbacks. The Throne of Glass series by Sarah Jamas, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight and Air of Fire. Vicious by V.E. Schwab. The first two books in the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab, A Darker Shade of Magic and A Girl. <coughs> and The Gathering of Shadows. And the book that knocked everything over was The Book of Lost Things by John Connolly. Moving on to The Girl of Ink and Stars by Karen Millwood Hargrave. Circus Mirandas by Cassie Beasley. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, Baker's Magic by Diane Saller, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman, Girl in Translation by Jean Kwok, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, and A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. And then we also have This Savage Song by V. E. Schwab, and then I also own A Court of Mist and Fury, but I'm currently reading that, so it's not here. This is my TBR shelf. These are all the books that I have not yet read. Writers by Veronica Rossi. The Diviners by Libba Bray. A World Without You by Beth Revis. Winter by Marissa Meyer. Hence Christine Anderson's Fairy Tales. All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. Queen of Shadows by Sarah J. Maas. And Animal Farm by George Orwell. And I also own Ferris by Marissa Meyer, but I'm also currently reading it, so it's not here. This is my hardcover shelf. Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. You by Caroline Katniss. The first two books in the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard, Red Queen and Glass Sword. The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. The Assassin's Heart by Sarah Harris. Crimson Bound by Rosamund Hodge. And Cruel Beauty by Rosamund Hodge. The Grisha Trilogy by Lee Bardugo, consisting of Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising. 
Shatter Me by Tahera Mafi, the first two books in the 100 series by Cass Morgan, The 100 and Day 21. And this shelf is where I keep all my other Dutch books. The Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer, of which I own the officially illustrated guide by The Twilight Saga, Twilight, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn and The Short Second Life of Bree Tanner. The second to last book of the Wing series by April and Pike, which is Spells, Illusions and Destiny. The second and third book from The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Catching Fire and Mockingjay, in these very interesting editions. The first and second book in the Chemical Garden trilogy by Lauren De Stefano, Wither and Fever. The Penryn and the End of Day series by Susan E, consisting of Angel Fall, World After and End of Days. And then there are just some dictionaries that I use to fill up space. And the last shelf is quite uninteresting, you never see it in any videos, but this is just where I keep all my school books. These were my bedtime stories when I was a young kid. And those are all the Avatar The Last Airbender DVDs because I am obsessed with Avatar The Last Airbender. And that was my bookshelf tour! Yay! I hope you enjoyed it. I think you've now realized that most of the books I own are always visible in any video that I film. And I will see you soon in another video. Goodbye! The songs on the radio are okay But my taste in music is your face